Thank you. Okay. We are heading to Knoxville. We are heading to Knoxville. That's where Thanks you for coming to my hometown, dude. Yeah, I'm excited. I've never been to Knoxville before. Gone yeah. with this goon as well, who I just took a bunch of money We're from. We're heading to Knoxville. So, <laughs> Alex, Bardwell, and some others were in town here in Orlando. We shot some Rotor Ride episodes. The usual jam. Really proud of the content we shot. Had a lot of fun. And now, uh, usually this is the time where Bardwell would head back home, but Alex and I are going with him. We are going back with Bardwell to Knoxville. We've got some stuff planned there, including, as you may have overheard, a tiny whoop race. Did I? Oh, I didn't pack my tiny whoop. stopped and had a lovely dinner in Atlanta. We are now an hour or two north. It's getting really cold. Really cold. Should have stayed in Florida. So how absolutely out of control is this garage workshop? Just more RC things than I can count. It is awesome. This is just such a fun place to hang out and see all the toys. So I guess Evan and his dad, Kevin, just work down here together and enjoy all sorts of RC things, including, of course, the best RC thing, FPV drones. Maybe you guys don't know who Evan is. Evan, who are you? I'm Evan Turner. <laughs> I'm from Maryville, Tennessee. Two-time two multi-GP champion. champion. You took it away from me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let's be honest. Vanover's a little, little salty about it, but I'm glad that they're still friends. <laughs> What's the coolest thing in, in this garage? Oh my gosh, there's so many. I really like all of my dad's old drone stuff because he started flying drones like eight or yeah, like eight or nine years ago. I remember because I, I wanted a Wii really bad when I was little, but he'd buy the extra Wii remotes, crack them open, take the accelerometers out, and use them to make flight controllers. Oh my for God, he was one of those guys. I'll find. I oh my gosh, on one of these. he was one of those guys. Yeah, let's see. That's amazing. I I think like so many people now don't realize like that's how it all began. That's why the, you know, the old uh, flight control software was called Multi Wii, because it was a multi rotor Nintendo Wii hardware hacked thing. Th these, like he said, just taking the accelerometers out of Nintendo Wii. Oh my gosh! <gasps> That's so cool. So there's your nunchuck from the old Wii's. You still got your gimbal there. It's wow. still intact. You can see a soft mounting solution from way back. You got tape, foam stacked on top of foam. That is the coolest thing here. Dude, dude, I didn't know you were one of the guys that actually hacked the Wii controllers. I oh, that's, so cool. yeah. that's so cool. That's so cool. I had an engineer help me though. <laughs> oh, okay. He was like 80. 82 years old. That's awesome. He was the man. first uh, multi rotor guy in our club. Thank you for sharing that. That is awesome. So, uh, the plan was to fly a little bit here, fly a little bit at Joshua Bardwell's house, maybe even hit some spots up around Knoxville before the Tiny Whoop race tonight. However, it is horrible weather today. It is raining on and off pretty hard. I mean, that's not stopping them from ripping outside, but I don't think I'm going to be flying my drone and uh, it's definitely not worth it to go looking for a spot or anything. We're just gonna hang out here today. Um, I'm hoping that in between some rain, we're gonna get to fly some foam 3D planes. I don't, well, it's always fun. Holding the camera. Let me know if it's gonna hit the heaven. Oh no, I don't like the tapping. Oh, okay, let me that land. No, no, no. Come on.
at like a like a buffalo wings restaurant and bar thing and the uh the knoxville fpv racers they're having a tiny whoop race here like a legit tiny whoop race jesse perkins from tiny whoop is here himself and it's dude it's gotten out of hand i think they were only supposed to have like 20 maybe 30 people coming and I think there's 60 or even 70 people here. There's so many people that there was a section reserved in the restaurant where this was supposed to go down, but they kicked us out. They said we had to do the whole thing outside. But either way, still a ton of fun. Just, you know, a little change of plans. I was actually, I was, I was kind of hoping to do like a rotor ride episode about Alex and Evan racing together at a tiny wolf race. I thought it might have been interesting, but now with the bad lighting and the craziness of so many people and everything going on, I don't, I don't think that's gonna, I don't think that's gonna happen. So, I'm just gonna hang out, have a good time, meet all the awesome people that have come out, and uh, I think the race is about to get going. is over. Remember I mentioned I wanted to make a video about Alex and Evan racing to for the win. But as it turns out, the real winner was Mr. Rab here. Yeah. Took it home. How's it feel, man? You're the, you're the champ at the Tiny Whoop race. Yeah, it is amazing. <laughs> Dude, he earned it. This guy this guy kills it. Uh, link in the description to Rab's YouTube channel. Do you do mostly Tiny Whoop stuff? Yeah. It is the next day, the last night, the race, a lot of fun, went pretty late, and now today, uh, you know, it's still kind of cold, but it's not raining. We got sunshine, blue skies, and you might recognize where we're at, Casa del Bardwell. We're at Joshua Bardwell's house. So we're finally getting to do some FPV freestyle in an iconic place. What more could you ask for?
right guys, what, it's now the, the fourth day of this vlog, uh, probably the final day. We are on our way back to Florida, and on our way, uh, Alex and I are, man, we are in this beautiful part of Tennessee, the mountains are just gorgeous, and we're about to do something called the Tale of the Dragon. This is a famous uh, stretch of road that's a lot of twists and turns, should be a lot of fun in the car. And it's something I've always wanted to do. I didn't realize we were going to be so close. But Evan's dad was like, as long as you're here, you should hit the tail. What? So um, we're not going to go too crazy because it's cold. It's like 28. So traction isn't this that great. But we're going to have a little bit of fun. It is just so beautiful. So we just finished doing the run. That was a lot of fun. I'm not sure how much got recorded because it was crazy. Alex was an excellent navigator giving me a heads up about the turns and all that stuff. That was um, that was exhausting. I would love to do a few more runs, but it like takes a while. I think it's only like 13 miles, but I mean, it, it takes a minute to do unless you want to really risk it. Uh, like I said, I took it, took it pretty easy, but even, even going at an, you know, easy pace in a car like this, it's like, whew, I'm like pretty fired up right now. But just how cool is this? How cool is this? This just, there's this whole thing built around it. I mean, they've got a place you can stay right there. Gas station, general store. There's like a bar, I think that is. This is just like this whole, just like a whole culture built around this. So I would love to get back out here sometime when the weather's a little bit nicer and make like an actual like thing out of this, like spend a whole weekend here. But this was an excellent way to cap off this trip to Tennessee. I passed that guy. He was really nice. I passed him a while ago. He pulled over for me so that I could get by. <laughs> My friends, I just wanted to do a little wrap up because I don't know if I didn't film one or, or what, but I couldn't even find a outro in uh, in the footage from that trip, which was a couple of weeks ago at this point. Just the you know delaying my editing right now, and, uh, and yeah, so I just wanted to you know wrap things up because that was a fun trip. Um, you know, it's the best part is just getting to hang out with the buddies, you know, Alex and Bardwell, and it's just you know it's hard, kind of hard to capture that, but uh, that's the best part. But of course, like. You know, getting to see new places, flying Bardwell's yard, that iconic thing, and uh, you know, oh, of course, the do the Tiny Whoop race was great because just anytime you get to hang out with so many people that are into FPV, it's just like warms your heart. <laughs> and uh, then doing the Tale of the Dragon, that was that's been on my bucket list for so long, and I don't know, I don't know how well like driving a twisty road really like shows up in the footage, but it was just. That was cool. I had a really good time with that, and I want to go back. And uh, anyways, we're already on to the next adventure, so I'm going to get back to that. But guys, thank you for coming along on that. Sorry, there's an airplane. Thank you for coming along on that uh, that trip to Knoxville. You know, I always appreciate you guys hanging out. So um, I'll see you next time, and remember to keep ripping and persevere.